Betsy Ann Thomas for the American Intelligence Media. Oh, isn't that something? It feels like we were six years ago when we just started this program and when reading the Durham report to see that it took him six friggin' years to tell the world what we were telling you back in 2016 and 17. And then what? Now all these people are going to walk free, Douglas, because of the statute of limitations. And is there a statute of limitations to treason? Well, Betsy, in the old days, I used to get tired of saying, we told you so. But we did tell you so. And we told you exactly what would happen. We told you what would happen with the Mueller report. We told you what would happen with the Page dossier. And we told you who the real criminals were. They were Brits. Arvinder Sambai was James Comey's handler. And it was Stephen Halpern who tried to hook in Carter Page and George Papadopoulos and did, and other people. And so it was a British attack against America, but we used to call it in the old days, the globalists. We now would call it the Pilgrim Society or agents of the crown. So if you go back and you do a search on our site for the 28 treasonous crimes of James Comey, you will find that the Durham report, go ahead, read all 314 pages. It will tell you about one third of the people who were part of that crime. When you have a special investigator like that, just like with Robert Mueller, he, Mueller, prosecuted two people, Manafort, put him in jail. He prosecuted George Papadopoulos. That's what's supposed to happen when you have a special investigator. As you go along, you find crimes, you prosecute them. Then at the end, you write up a report, you turn it over to the Department of Justice, and then the Department of Justice will do something with it. Remember, Robert Mueller's report was turned over to Bill Barr. And before that, it was Jeff Sessions, both of whom were traitors. They were part of this treasonous action. This Russia, Russia, Russia investigation from Mueller was fake. It found nothing, but made sure to use some dicey languages in its summary so that people still yell on mainstream media, Trump was with Russia, that Trump had met with Natalia Veselnitskaya and others, and that he was totally compromised with the Russians. We now know none of that is true. We pointed out at that point, and nobody else was pointing it out, that the crime goes much, much deeper. And then we pointed out that Arvinder Sambai, the handler for Comey, came over and had dinner with Bruce and Nellie Orr. Nellie Orr working for Fusion GPS, creating fake lies and then being... And her husband is the paymaster for the SES over at the DOJ. Oh, and you know, another thing is that the Durham report did not tell us about the British influence over our elections. This was an overthrow of America. You know, if you've been following us, we discovered that Optech and its newest version, version three, is in every single election machine. So when you say Dominion won the case against Fox News, no, they didn't. Fox News got it mixed up and said that a different Dominion, Dominion LLC, which is funded by China, they tried to say that the Dominion that was founded in Canada, which does still rule our elections, was supported by China. That's well, not true. give me a break. Fox News full well knew that it was pointing the finger to the wrong company, okay? And they're all owned in part by BlackRock. So it's just one big club and we aren't in it. They absolutely knew it. Yes, these are treasonous acts. Overthrowing of an election, overthrowing of a sitting president, investigating a sitting president when there was no reason to do so. The Durham report now says there was a second investigation after Robert Mueller that said that, yes, there was weaponization of the DOJ and the FBI, but nothing was done. James Comey, who had the gall to come out again and again after he was fired by Trump because he had leaked to his continual leaking partner with uh, one of the major newspapers, all of this information, that was election interference. And what was it for? It was to cover up for Hillary's server in her house, which was giving CC copies of everything she did as the Secretary of State to the Chinese and to anybody who paid for that information. Also, it was her Uranium One deal, which was with Putin, which was in Kazakhstan. That Uranium One deal was Bill and Hillary Clinton working with Frank Justra, who is one of the biggest crown agents in Canada and his fake Barrick Gold. 
that's all fake and his uranium is fake and so there was no uranium it was a deal where hillary sold out the uranium of america to the russians which still to this day who do you think decommissions our icbms our nuclear weapons russia does and then the plant to new mexico it's called uranium i think is owned by the queen so the queen and putin at that well, time at that time, at that time the queen King over there. Sausage Finger is now in charge of basically the uranium in America along with Putin to this very day. So Putin can't possibly be our enemy because he helps us decommission our ICBMs. He decommissioned the ICBMs, the nuclear weapons that were in Ukraine, and that's how some of them got to North Korea. We've told you all of this before. So basically all this is is a review so that you will know that what we told you was true. The Mueller report would do nothing because there was nothing. It was sweeping the evidence under the rug. Even Joseph Mifsud was interviewed by Robert Mueller and then released, and he's of course disappeared since and never been heard from again. Also other Russian agents, Natalia Veselnaskaya, many others, they interviewed them. He interviewed all those people so that it could go into a secret file that no one could ever look at because it was a special investigator. A special investigator and special counsels are like a British star chamber we already know the outcome before it starts. During this entire Russian investigation, it was really about payments to Hunter Biden in Ukraine through Burisma. And of course, Joe Biden, the vice president at that time, and Obama ordered these things along with Valerie Jarrett, along with Susan Rice. We have the testimony of people who are in the room. We actually have the conversation where they admitted that they were doing this as interference in the election so Hillary could get elected. And that was because there was such a landslide with Trump that the normal rigging of Lord Mark Malik Brown and his Optech software and his Smartmatic LLC and Dominion, not a PLC or LLC, just Dominion and Smartmatic, they accused Smartmatic of being part of the election rigging at that time, basically changed the votes right in front of all of Americans in the middle of the night. Uh, what was really going on was it's a selection process. The British have been selecting our leaders in the countries for a long time. And when they don't get the person elected, George Soros, the CIA, and a bunch of non-government organizations come in and through a color revolution, the orange revolution in Ukraine, and later the Maidan revolution, those were American-stimulated CIA operations through the British influence and through George Soros's money. So George Soros is nothing more than a front guy for the, as Michael McKibben always says, it's not the CIA, it's the British CIA. So this is the same old story. We told you from the beginning that nothing will happen with Durham. It will be sweeping the evidence under the rug. He will interview those people. He will not bring any charges against anyone. And then Jim Jordan comes out with Matt Gates because they've got a whistleblower to say that the FBI has been politicized from within, that they don't know yet that the FBI is controlled by our special relationship with Britain through five eyes and that they continue to spread this incomplete information to people. And then you've got Robert F. Kennedy Jr., another low information troglodyte, saying the CIA, they murdered his uncle and his father. Idiot, haven't you done your research? Don't you understand that the CIA, formerly the OSS, is five eyes? This is a British operation to take down America and our congressional people and presidential hopefuls can't get their heads out of the dark place of their body and look at the truth and give it out. I, I'm just sick of it, Thomas. We sit back and wonder if there's any hope whatsoever. And at this point, it looks like there's no hope. Why? It got worse after that. After all the evidence was there, after the proof was there, after Crossfire Hurricane was shown to have no substantial evidence that opened those investigations, which then changed its name, I forget, six, 10, 12 times, so that it would always be new. Peter Strzok and Lisa Page were the ones who were conducting that. But it was with John Brennan's approval. It was with Clapper's approval, on and on and on. So when you see the meme out there that shows you a list of about 20 people who the Durham report all stated acted inappropriately, those are all treasonous bastards. They're treasonous monsters. They hate America. 
They've been paid off. They are nothing more than crown agents. Well, it looks like the Purple Revolution here in America has been successful as well. Correct. We used to call it all the time the Purple Revolution, and it is a color revolution. We have been overthrown. We no longer have a constitution that's being enforced. Look, we could spend the next three hours going over all this, but we just wanted to come on and say, yep, we told you so. We told you it'd be swept under the rug. We told you nobody's going anywhere. Thomas, what are we going to do? Our country has been overthrown. What do we do as citizens on the ground? We are about ready for the ultimate fall of the Western civilization. And we are ready for the big economic crash that has been predicted for years. They've already set it up with Fed line. And in July, it's supposed to become Fed now. And if you don't switch over and join the e ESG requirements, and that's what happened with Bud Light, that's what's happening with all these companies. Supply, all of them promoting this anti-godly stuff about humans. It's like we're living in Sodom and Gomorrah. It couldn't get more disgusting. It's just, it's so much. But yet here we all are in the collapse of civilization right at the cusp. And we're here. And we've told you the only things you can do, and that's to become a prepper, a horticulturalist to put your money in minted American coins that are silver and gold. So it's nothing new under the sun. All civilizations go through this. All fiat currencies die. And we never had a free market because in 1913, when the U.S. Federal Reserve was created, that was the end of anything free in America. And we became economic slaves to the British bankers. So we call them Radnite, Babylonian Radnites. It's the same old bankster families. It's the merchant bankers. It's the merchant bankers. And so folks, get your gardens going. Get some spendable bartering gold and silver. As far as I'm concerned, we need another revolution, but it's against our own government. We need to go back to the Constitution, the Bill of Rights, and start over again, making sure that we have no association with the British government. Oh, you mean we're going to end our special relationship with them? We're going to stop being the lapdog of the Brits.